In this video, I'm gonna explain what an SRT file is and how to export them in Premiere Pro. Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Relly, and before you hit me with the YouTube already captures your video for you, well, there's a difference between captions and subtitles, which is another reason why I made this video. To put it simply, captions are a text version of the spoken part or audio, while subtitles are translations for people who don't speak the language that the audio or video was recorded in. Let's start with a question, what is an SRT file? An SRT file, which stands for Subripped Subtitle File, is a text file that contains information regarding subtitles, including the start and end time code of the text to ensure that they match the audio. It's also good to note that it's just a text file that you could use alongside your video or audio. It does not include the video or audio that you're subtitling. These SRT files are super beneficial, especially if you're trying to reach a bigger audience that's outside of your language that you speak, in this case, English. And you can still use an SRT file to upload with your video, even if you're not using it for translation purposes, because you have the option to check for spelling issues or the format before exporting, because odds are relying on YouTube and waiting on YouTube to do the captions for you, you'll have some kind of issue. Once you have your video completed in Premiere Pro, you will need to switch your workspace to captions. If it's not chilling at the top up here, then you'll need to go up to Window, Workspaces, and click Captions. Once that workspace shows up in this left window here, click on Transcribe Sequence. You'll see this menu pop up with different options, like if you want a specific audio track or a mix of all of them, language, transcribing from your selected in and out points if you have them, and an option to differentiate between different speakers. Figure out what you need and click Transcribe. Premiere Pro will do its thing, and depending on how long and how complex your edit is, will affect how long this process takes. Once it's completed, you can technically double click in the left window and edit the text, or you can go ahead and click Create Captions. The window will pop up and you can format them however you like, but since we are only talking about exporting an SRT file, then I don't care how the captions look. Click Create and Premiere will create the captions for you. You can spell check everything here if you would like. If it looks good, then go up to the three dots in the top right of the left window, click it, and you will see what we've been looking for. Export to SRT file. Name it, place it, upload it, and as you're uploading your video, you eventually will get to the section about captions, and that is where you can upload your SRT file or files if you have multiple. The good thing is that you can go back and apply SRT files to previous videos that you've uploaded. Even if you don't have the project file or the video itself on your computer or hard drive, you can just go through your videos, download it from YouTube, and then place it in Premiere Pro, and it will just take the audio and create those captions, that SRT file for you, and you're good to go. Okay, that's it. Let me know in the comments below if you already you use SRT files or if you plan on adding them to your previous videos or just videos that you plan on making in the future. If you do add these, hopefully it will help you reach a new audience and maybe even a bigger audience. That's all I got for now. Thanks for watching this video. Thumbs up bell and I will see you in the next one. Bye.